Placeholder API is really one of those recognized and known plugins in the Minecraft community, and that is what I'm going to be showcasing for today's plugin, and I know probably 90% of you already know how to use this and install it, uh, so I'm going to showcase the tutorial for those of you who do not know how to use it and get it set up. So uh, in today's video, that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be using the Title Manager plugin uh, to hook on with uh, Placeholder API, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and Discord with the links below. So Pappy or Placeholder API covers at 1.7 to 1.15, so that is pretty much all the, the current Minecraft versions, so which is really helpful. So to get the list of all the placeholders, you just go ahead and click on the placeholders, and it will take you to the wiki right here. And here's all the different types of placeholders that are included with Pappy, and then here is a separate plugin placeholder. So there is a ton, a ton of different plugins that it hooks onto. Some of these you have to download the expansion, some of them are hard-coded into the plugin itself, so you don't need to download it anything. So if you need to check a plugin, just go uh, and search it right here, and then it will come up if it's uh, included in a Pappy. So uh, one of the, the key features is the player one. So you're going to have to download these expansions. So all you really have to do is just copy this command and just put it in game. So if we go back over to our Minecraft and go ahead and place that in. So we'll do a download player. As you see, it is now downloaded. So now we can do Pappy reload, and that will just go ahead and hook in to that placeholder expansion that we just downloaded. Once we have done that, now we can go ahead and use all these different types of player placeholders as you see there is quite a bit of them actually uh, so for example let's go ahead and get a player's X Y and Z coordinate so I'm gonna be using the scoreboard on the title manager plugin so um, this is in the config so I'm gonna go down to where I see so here is the scoreboard for title manager I'm just gonna head and actually uh, delete that right here and I'm just gonna say uh, title all right <laughs> so just call it title now we can go ahead and use uh, the different placeholders that we have so uh, currently title manager does uh, already have its own included one so this would be the name the ping and the server time but we want to use uh, the placeholders for um, placeholder API so uh, title manager does recognize all of these so that is really helpful so all you have to do is just copy whatever placeholder and you can just put it right here so for example uh, we can make a new line under here real quick uh, and we can do uh, like X and then we'll just put the placeholder right there and then we can do the the, the Z coordinate so we can do like Z uh, and then and then we can do Z and then we can also do pretty much the same thing at placeholder uh, Z so I'm gonna head and save that file real quick and then if we switch over to our Minecraft and we do TM reload as you see there is our coordinates right here and if we move as you see it does update so that is the placeholders that we included uh, there's a lot of other placeholders that you can use and hook onto so let's go ahead and do our rank actually so so if we go back over to uh, the wiki, so let me switch over to wiki, if we go ahead and search up a vault, vault is typically uh, what is going to be used for any type of your permissions plugin. So I'm using luck perms and this is going to be the vault rank. So uh, if you're using PEX or group manager, uh, but I highly recommend luck perms, uh, this is the rank that you're going to be using. So here's the rank. Uh, you can also do the rank prefix or rank suffix if you have that, uh, but I'm just going to do the, the vault rank. So I'm just going to head and copy that so I'm going to head and actually delete this ping one real quick and we'll do like rank and then we'll say the player's rank right here vault rank and then we can go ahead and save that now in game we need to download the expansion for vault because uh, that is what we're going to be using and so we'll do pappy reload and then now we can do tm reload and that should load up uh, there we go so now we have the rank default so if I go ahead and make a, a new rank real quick with luck perms if I go ahead and add myself to the admin group, as you see, it does change. So there we go, the groups are working perfectly. So say we want to also use something in Essentials. Uh, so let's go over and check the Essentials placeholders and see what we can have. So I'm gonna copy the Essentials Home Max and we'll come back to our editor real quick. And uh, we can uh, go ahead and change the server time. So let's go ahead and change this to like, uh, I don't know, homes, and then we can go ahead and put the placeholder in right here. Uh, backspace, make sure your uh, formatting is correct. So that is gonna be our Essentials Home Max. That's how many homes that we can have with Essentials. So we can go ahead and save that and make sure we also download uh, this expansion. So let's go back into Minecraft. Let's go ahead and place that expansion right there. Uh, reload Pappy real quick. 
reload at Pappy, and then uh, we can do TM reload, and we should get the homes right here. So there we go. We have the 10 homes, because I am in uh, the admin group, so that gives me 10 homes. But uh, that is how you use Placeholder API, uh, hooking on with various plugins. Just like that, we have our coordinates, we have ranks, and we also have our homes, and those are with uh, various plugins. So that is how you use Placeholder API to hook in uh, to various plugins. So hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully it was informative, and uh, you guys understand how to do that. So uh, I would definitely recommend Placeholder API. Link is down in the description. You guys can go download it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.